Okay, so um, this is the Lamentation of Christ by Durer. He painted this in 1498 for the family chapel of Karl Holzschuler. The center of the painting is basically occupied by Jesus' dead body, supported by John the Apostle, and lamented by Mary ne Nicodemus and a pious woman, Mary Magdalene, and Joseph or, of or, Arimathea standing behind, holding bombs to prepare the corpse for burial. So um, you can see that here's the the um, the crown of thorns, and then tiny proportions the depictions of the donors from the Holshower and the Gerber families, accompanied by their coat of arms. Um, this landscape of the background basically shows um, Mount Calvary, Ca Calvary, where um, you can see like the two other. Um, the two other sinners who were crucified to get um with Jesus. Um. So uh. Yeah, it's just interesting that um. Can you see uh like the realism of all the people, no matter how small they were. Like you can see the faces of these people are here. The, the grasses, the the other backgrounds, they were just so amazing. Even though it's very small and it's like the, it's very true. Um, Dürer was a humanist, and he was the only Northern artist. Basically, um, he was German, who is from the north, and he absorbed the sophisticated Italian dialogue between scientific theory and art, producing his own treatise and proportion in 1528. So, um, in this picture, uh, it's very obvious that religion was depicted because it's basically the death of Christ mourned by several angels and people that who, who cares about him. And, yeah. What makes this Renaissance art and not Middle Ages art is because it's three-dimensional it's just not a flat piece of painting. It's it has the depth in it, and each person displays an emotion. And the two men on the right also show a clear distinction in facial features. Um, you can really see that it's very real. Aside from like the medieval ages art, it's just weird and not so real. So again, this is the Lamentation of Christ by, by Durer.